Today is the day guys where we're going to install this bad boy into this bad boy. We need to figure out how this is going to work. Hopefully it's easy. Got my gato, got my PC, I've got my coffee, so I'm ready to rock. Let's do this. Okay guys, first things first, we need to open up this Alienware Aurora PC. So how you apparently do that is you click up, unlock, another one to unlock, and then I think you unscrew this little guy. And do it with my bare hands. Oh, I can't. Wait a minute to get a screwdriver. We now have our trusty screwdrivers. There we go, much easier. Keep you. Uh -huh. Keep you in there for later. Ooh. So I pull this, the side door seems to pop off. Go. There we can see inside the machine. So let's get the Elgato next. And it should live down here somewhere, I think. Ok guys, we've got the capture card out of this box now, so let me figure out where this is going to live. Probably live in there under the graphics card I'm thinking. Looks a good fit. There we go, can see inside a bit clearer now. Now guys, if that's it in and working, that has been the easiest install ever. There it is. Yay! Okay, let's close this back up and see how we get on. Side plate back on. Let's lock this bad boy. One, two, and another little screw. So let's plug this back in and see if it's working or not. Right guys, moment of truth, let's turn it on and see if it's working. Power. We have power. See if these monitors work before we put all these things back up. Oh, one's working. Success. Okay guys, that's the machine on. So now we need to head over to the Elgato website and download some software. Whoa. It's fine. That's where we're heading. My PC's going mental. One razor, you're drunk. Stop installing updates. This is what we're after guys, game capture for Windows. And you can see there's software for the Stream Deck as well, which looks pretty badass that we may get at some point in the future. So let's do this, let's get this downloading. Come on Chrome, what are you doing? Whoa. 
download the games. Come on. Super fast broadband my ass. Come on, Vodgen. Right, so this is doing boring stuff. I'm actually gonna plug my camera into charge. It's about to die on me. No. Guys, that's the software downloaded and installing as we speak. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any Elgato capture cards or different make capture cards. Just let me know what you guys use to capture your gameplay and we'll have a wee chat about it in the comments. There's no doubt I will need your help on how to actually get this all working, so help me please! Next on our hit list is to plug the Xbox One into the Elgato which is in the PC and which is really good, I just opened up the HDMI cable that's with it and it's really long which is fab because this thing is to stretch from here over to here so I thought oh no this is not going to work but the cable is a pretty decent size and I think it will do the business Okay guys, so we need to actually buy another HDMI cable because there's one that comes with it, which is great. It's long enough to get from the Xbox to the PC, but then you need another one that comes out of the PC and goes to your monitor, which is over here. And the one I've got is not long enough. So it's out to the shops we go to get another cable. Don't know if any of you guys live in the UK just now, but it is like freakishly hot all the time this week. It's just weird. Anyways, enough of that, we're on the move again to go and get this HDMI cable so we can finally get this Elgato Whoa. Calm down car, so we can get this Elgato installed Let's do this! Cable. Now time for some lunch as well, I'm starving, let's make a smoothie. On the menu for today's healthy smoothie lunch is natural Greek yoghurt, banana, frozen berries and some spinach in here and into a ninja to be blended into a bloggin. And lastly but not least, some seed berry and goji mix. Yummy. Oh, and you can cheekily spot in the background my healthy breakfast. A McDonald's breakfast. So we need to balance it up a wee bit with a smoothie. That's the plan anyway. Some water in now. Lid. Oh. We have power. Ready. Cheers! Oh. That is good. Right, that's the software just been turned on. It's saying we need to do a restart just to finish off the install. It's also saying there's no signal, which is not too good. I think that's maybe just because the Xbox is just turning on and we need to obviously restart. So hopefully that will sort it. So let's restart and then see if we get any further along. Okay, we've got a picture on the monitor now which is good so the card must be working since it's passing back through from there. So let's click on this bad boy and see what happens. And it's alive. Oh, so that's it showing what's on the monitor. So, oh. Cool. So you can see here we've got our HD60 Pro. See there's game audio like commentary, so it's coming through the webcam. That says it seems to be working now. That's it for today's video guys. The Elgato HD60 is installed. I'm shocked it was properly plug and play. It was so easy to do. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and configure it a wee bit and then see if I can actually capture something on it for you guys. Um, I actually wish I'd have done it sooner um, so we could have it up and running. And that's all for today's vlog then. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave us a thumbs up. If you did, comment down below and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And we'll see you in the next one. 